Hey, thank you for joining me today. I'm putting on my apron. And you know when I put on my apron, it means we get ready to make something. So today's going to be a really quick video. I want to make me a branded t-shirt. I am in 2020 going to be wearing a lot of my own brands. And today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a t-shirt. So I have a simple Gildan shirt. Not my favorite, but it's just a simple shirt. I got this shirt, I believe at Walmart. Um, this is not the brand I normally wear. I normally brand, wear this brand, but for this purpose today, I'm just going to put on a quick t-shirt. I'm going to show you how to make it. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a t-shirt. I'm going to use my Easy Press, which is this one. I'm going to use my Silhouette Cameo and, and my computer. And I'm going to use the software Adobe Illustrator. So hold on a second. Let's get started. <music> Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my vinyl on my mat because I'm ready to cut. I already have my silhouette machine plugged up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my HTV vinyl on my mat. And I like to roll mine up just a little bit to make it easier to apply it. And this is not a brand new sheet. It's like a recycled sheet that I have. I'm using a new mat. This is a paper studio mat that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to load my mat. I find it easier for me that I don't use the Bluetooth feature for my silhouette connection to my computer. I like to use the actual USB portion. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my computer. And I've already done the work. I'm just gonna pull out my logo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my logo. So I'm gonna ungroup this because I don't need all of it. And I'm going to delete some of it out because I only wanna work with the TE. And then I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna cut it. And I'm gonna take it back to my other page and I'm gonna drop it. And here it is. So I do want it to be rather large. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm able to, yes, it's a one piece. So when you see it, I'm able to outline it so you can see what it really looks like. Now that you're working with heat transfer vinyl, which is HTV, um, you're going to have to mirror your item. I'm going to go to object, transform, and then I'm going to reflect it. And I'm going to reflect it in vertically. And that's it. It is ready now to be sent out. I always like to draw a box around my design because I don't like to waste a lot of vinyl. And then I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Now I'm going to put a crystal here. So it doesn't matter what color I cut it. I'm just going to size it appropriately. Then I'm going to go to File, Silhouette Connect, Send to Silhouette Connect. From here, it's already connected. It's already in the middle of my page. I have a 12 by 12 mat. I'm going to click on send. We'll go back a second. So I want to make sure that my width is custom, or you can just put it on a 12 by 12 mat. It doesn't matter. I mean, from here, you can kind of move it to be where you want it to be. So if you did not have a full sheet of vinyl, you can move it around the page where your placement of your vinyl is. So I'm going to put it on the corner about right here. I'm going to click on send. I'm going to go down to the bottom and make sure I have selected my Cameo. It says it's ready. I'm going to use my Auto Blade, so I'm going to make sure it says Heat Transfer is Smooth, but I just want to make sure that's going to be correct. So I'm just going to scroll up to make sure I have it on Heat Transfer correctly. It's on two, one pass, and then I'm going to click on Send. And you can tell that it's doing my Auto Blade. And while it's cutting, I've already turned on my Cricut Easy Press. I've already got preheated to what, what I want it to be.
While it's doing that, I'm going to check and see what I need to have my temperature on because I'm using a cotton shirt. And then I'm going to unload it. And it looks about like the right size for what I want. I'm just simply going to push this back for a second, get out of the way. And I'm going to roll it off of my mat like such. And I can see it's already been cut through. And I need to get my weeding tool so I can weed it. And I like to keep my protective sheet to put back on it because these things get dirty very quickly and I like to put mine back on it. My cutting mat down for just a second so that I can cut around my vinyl. So I'm just gonna use my X-Acto knife and cut real quick. I've already got the cut edges, but I just don't want to use and waste too much vinyl. So I'm just going to cut around it. I'm going to put that to the side. And then I always make sure I top these back up because these are very, very, very sharp. And I don't want anyone to get hurt or cut. I'm going to move my mat out of the way. And then I'm going to begin to weed. And I love this weeding tool. I'll put a link in that where I got this one from. And I want to keep that. So I'm going to go on the outskirts and just begin to pull. One of my favorite things to weed is HTV because it's so much easier than regular adhesive vinyl. Because if adhesive vinyl, you have to worry about being perfect. You have to worry about it touching itself. With this one, it's, it is what it is. It pulls very easily. There's usually less room for error. And I just love weeding HTV vinyl. And I think it's gonna to be too cute. It's right there in the middle. I'm gonna weed this off. And I'm going to turn around on my wall and get me a crystal. And I'm going to put a crystal right there in the middle. So here's my crystals. And if you guys have watched my video, you know exactly where I put it. I have a three, well, it's actually a four tier cutter shelf over there where I put all of those. So I was easily able to, and it's already plugged up. I didn't even have to unplug it. It's still plugged up. And I just was able to just grab it and put it on my table. And I'm gonna pull this off. This thing just will not cut. I guess I need to change the blade on it. I'm gonna move it out of the way. I'm gonna get my mat and grab my shirt. So this is my pressing mat. It says safe um, this side down. I actually got this off Amazon. So I'm going to press my shirt just a little bit. I'm done with my weeding tools. I can put those up. just to get the wrinkles off. You don't have to, my shirt's just very wrinkled because it's been in the drawer. So I'm gonna just iron it a little bit just to get the wrinkles off. And I'm going to immediately wear this shirt once I'm finished. And I'm not gonna worry about the back side because I'm gonna put a jacket on. I'm now going to grab my shirt, put it on my pressing pad. I want it to be about right here. I'm gonna press this down just for a second so I can heat the area up.
I'm going to now grab my image and put it on my shirt. And I always like to hold it up just to make sure it's the right size. And it looks like it's going to be perfect. I'm using the mat and apply. So I need to put it on 340. And I need to do it for 50 seconds. That seems to be a little bit long. I have to wait for it to heat up. It's now on 320. Now it's ready. Put my iPad to the side. Now I always use a Teflon sheet. Even when I had my um, heat press behind me, I always use a Teflon sheet. And it says to do it for 50 seconds and I'm just gonna simply push start. So the reason why I use this easy press versus my um, heat press it's just because I want to see how it works I've always used my heat press but I just want to try this and just see how it works it's kind of easier it quick it's heats up really fast and I think it's cute I'm gonna put it to the side and this is a hot peel so I'm just gonna simply peel it off now you can reuse these and there's a trick to this you can take this sheet and use some regular vinyl heat it up and make it to be heat transfer vinyl real quick so i kind of always save those sheets especially if they're big sheets and i'm going to do it one more time I'm done with the heat transfer Teflon sheet. I'm going to put up my pad and here I go. So it is done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my E6000. If you don't know what E6000 is, you have got to find how to use this. I love E6000. It's the easiest way to put on crystals and they stay. So I'm just going to just literally put some on my shirt in a circle. Try not to put too much because I don't want to touch it with my hands. But I probably did have to. Um, I'm going to use my crystal katana. This thing is so old. I'm going to just mesh it up just a little bit to get the tack in this on it. And the reason why I like to use a crystal katana is because this piece is always able. I'm able to pick it up like such. And then I'm just going to drop it down. I'm going to use this end to push it down and that's it and just like that I am done I'm gonna get a paper towel to wipe that off I'm going to put a little heat on this so I can dry it quicker and because I'm very impatient I'm going to just use my heating tool and just heat it up a little bit just so it can dry a little faster And we're done. And here's my shirt. Thank you for watching. I'm going to put my shirt on. And you guys have a great day. Thanks.